Hey everybody, uh, I want to uh, make a review on some boots that I got for Christmas. Um, they were on my wish list and I'm going to show them to you. I'm just hopping in my car right now because I wanted to uh, go for a drive. So I'm going to show them to you. Some hair on my leg there. Okay, these are the Pajar Trooper style boots. Now, I wanted these things for so long. They are super comfy, good for the snow, made in Canada. And I literally do not want to take them off. They come with really sick ass zippers on the sides. I guess to help you take your shoes on and off. I'll never use them, but they look cool. And they make a little clinging sound when I walk and it sounds badass. And they also have the red trim along the sole. Red and black, are, that's my favorite color combination. And I just wanted to put it out there that these are sick ass freaking boots. They even look better when you have them both side by side. Um, so I'm going to make her a little bit of a review on them. Like they're not super expensive boots. They're the Pajar Trooper style series boots. I think that's what they're called. But I just want to let you know, like, cause I've been wearing Timberlands for the last four years throughout winters. And these are a lot lighter. They're waterproof. They're leather and waterproof. And they are super fun to drive in. Like, I have no problems driving in these boots. Like, clutch, brake, clutch, gas, clutch, brake. I know I shouldn't be doing that while my car's in park, but I'm just showing you, like, these are really easy to drive in. Um, so, yeah, there it is. Like, it's a really simple review, but I love these boots, and they're comfy. Like, look at these. Look at the, the, the cotton, the, the fluffy, you know, like... That's what it says. Waterproof construction. Seam sealed. If if you're ever looking for a pair of waterproof boots, like I was looking at Sorel's, but Pajar, they're coming up. They're coming up strong. Like they are actually doing a lot better than Sorel's for men. Like Sorel's for women are nice, but I have not yet found a pair of Sorel's for men. Like, they're too bulky. Like, these are a slim style boot that keeps your feet warm. I'm wearing th really thin socks in these boots, and my feet are warm. Like, these are really great boots. So, I just wanted to put that out there. There's my review. And um, I actually have one other thing that I wanted to, to actually... I just wanted to see, because, like, I was watching this guy fill up his gas tank at the gas station and it's just something it's fucking weird like I had no idea that when you take the cap off that that's what that's for I had no idea that was a cap holder. That is fucking cool. Anyways, so. That is fucking awesome. That blows my mind. That little gas cap holder. That little gas cap holder blew my mind. Like, I. I. It, one thing that really freaking annoys me is every time I fill up with gas, I always have to unscrew my gas cap and I just leave it dangling. I'm like, oh, I hate doing this. Every single time, I hate doing it. Like I almost want to cut that little that 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 little plastic piece off that holds the gas cap there, just so I can hold it in my hand, so that it's not banging around on the side of my rear fender. Like that blows my mind that there's a gas cap holder. Like I never knew that was there. Like I didn't know that that was there. I never even thought of it. I never even thought that that's there to hold your gas cap. It just blows my mind. Stupid little things like that blow my mind. And it's just crazy. So I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go get another coffee because my coffee's empty now. And um, 
I love coffee. So I'm going to go to coffee. I'm going to get, um, I, I think I'm going to get some beer for the hockey game tonight. And we're going to talk about closets, clothes, and, and beer. No, cars and beer. No. <laughs> oh, speaking of as a true Canadian, it's all about the beer, the clothes, the closets, the cars, the... What is the other thing that I like? Music. Okay, so we're gonna go for a drive now. Again. Because like I said, I need another coffee. And... Oh, look at all the snow here. Oh. And, uh... I need some beer for the game. We're going to watch the Toronto Maple Leafs and Tampa Bay Lightning tonight. It's going to be a good game because Toronto is on a three or four game winning streak right now. And they just finished beating Florida in overtime or in a shootout last night. So that was pretty exciting. So they're, they beat out Florida. Now they're in Tampa Bay, which is also in Florida. And they're going to smoke. I think they're going to smoke. No, they're probably not going to. They got Steven Stamkos. And he's from Markham, our hometown. Yeah, so yeah, fat chance on beating Steven Stamkos, unless he's not going to be playing for some reason, but uh, we have a pretty good chance. I mean, our team is under a, a really great coaching staff and even better um, management uh, as far as, uh, uh, there's this fucking guy, I know he claimed the sent. okay, he's turning down that road. Brace cells. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty exciting. I know I I, I don't like to do my seatbelt up until I start driving. It's just one of those habits. But you know, at least I do it up. Some people don't do. Some people don't like seatbelts. I I personally just do it up because I'm tired of hearing the chime go. Um. Yeah, uh, I'm not going for. It. I'm just going to the the lick bow. That's what we call it down in Markham, Ontario. We call it the Lickbo because it's actually called the LCBO, but to keep it gangsta, we call it Lickbo. Um, yeah, because people think that, you know, it, it should be pronounced as a word. So, that's what I grew up uh, saying. So I'm gonna get some beer for the game. Uh, I'd love some chicken wings tonight. However, I'm getting over a sickness, so I'm probably just gonna end up having soup. Um, probably shouldn't even have beer, but you know, like, it's in my blood um, to drink beer, whether you're sick or you're not sick, you know, it's just something that you do. Um, I'm trying to get off of it. It's, however, it's really hard being a sports fan and all you see on TV is beer advertisements and and when they take pictures of the fans, you know, everybody's had a, everybody has a beer so it's like it only makes it the right thing for me to have a beer while I watch the game. And beer goes really well with chicken wings and pizza. And when you're in Canada, unless you're an immigrant, like you have to drink beer, even if there's no game. Sometimes you'll just throw in a game for an excuse to drink beer. I mean, that's just the way it is. Woo! You like that, eh? I don't know why I love driving my car at high revs. I know it's like not fuel efficient, but I love opening up my engine and keeping it revving high like it just sounds badass when you do that like when you're at 4,000 when you're at 4,000 the turbos kicked in already and then you, you just give it from 4,000 or like three and a half thousand and just give it oh jeez feeling I get Butterflies in my stomach go flying around. I don't need those butterflies though, because that shit just gave me the flu. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, it was fun making this video, and I I'm looking forward to making more videos. Um, I want to do it on a weekly basis. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or um, if you have any recommendations on what I should review, let me know. Hit the comments below and I will get back to you.